at home. Where is Lurchy? She is in the bedroom. What is she doing? She is doing homeworks. Where is the car? It is in the garage. Where is the cat? The cat is in the kitchen. What is the cat doing? The cat is sleeping. Telephone. Hello. Hello. Is Jerry there? I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Oh, is this 567-890? No, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. A new baby. I have some good news. What is it? Mary is going to have a baby. That's great. I'm happy for her. Me too. Do they want a boy or a girl? A beautiful princess. When's the baby due? In the beginning of December. I'm going to phone Mary tonight. That's nice. Say hello for me. A light eater. Would you like anything else? You haven't eaten very much. No, thanks. I'm already full. Oh, come on. Have some more. No, I really can't. I've never been much of an eater. Have some green tea then. That would be nice. How do you take it? With a little sugar, please, no cream. Here you are. Thank you. Color. What can I do for you? Yes, please. I am looking for a bag. What's your favorite color? It's brown. Sorry, we have no brown right now. Here is a nice bag. But this bag is orange. That's okay. Orange bags are very popular this year. Okay, I take this one. I don't feel well. What are you looking for? My coat. I'm going to the doctor. Why? What's the matter with you? I'm not sure, but I don't feel well. Do you have a fever? No, but I have a pain in my chest. What time is your appointment? 8.30. I'm going now. Bye. Goodbye. I hope it's noting serious. Thanks. See you. How about a drink? How about a drink? Tonight? Yes, I'd love to. Where can we meet? How about the 1900 bar? All right. What time? Is half past eight okay? Yes, that's fine. I will meet you there. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. Oh, I'm in a hurry. Bye now. See you there. Okay, bye. Gardening. Your garden is really lovely. Thank you. I enjoy working in the garden. Do you do everything yourself? I trim the bushes and weed the flower beds myself. Who cuts the grass? Oh, it's so big that I hired one of the boys in the neighborhood to do it. Well, I must say he does a good job. Yes, his work is more than satisfactory. A date. Hello. Maria, is that you? Yes, 
Who's this? It's Michael. Michael. Michael who? What do you mean, Michael who? Michael Dustin, of course. Oh, Michael, I'm sorry. Yes. We had a date last night. Where were you? I waited for one hour. Oh, I'm sorry, Michael. I couldn't come. Couldn't come. Why not? Well, I had to pack my stuff for my trip. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to call you, but I couldn't remember your phone number. And now I'm going to forget yours. I have a sore throat. You sound terrible. What's the matter with you? I have a sore throat. You should rest your voice. I know it hurts when I talk. What are you taking for your throat? Hot water and honey. Ahem, um, it can ease your hurt. Are you going to work today? No, I'm staying home. Good idea. I'll feel better tomorrow. I hope so. Relax. Bye. Thanks so much. Have a nice day. Okay. At home. Where are you? I am in the living room. What are you doing? I am cleaning the house. Where are Tom and Anna? They are in the living room. What are they doing? They are playing with toys and cars. Where is the dog? She is in front of the door. What is the dog doing? The dog is eating. Color. Excuse me, is this your bags? No, it isn't. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. That bag is brown, and my bag is orange. My favorite photographs. Who is she? She is my sister. What is her name? Her name is Anna. Where is she in this photograph? She's in London. What is that building behind her? She's standing in front of the Big Ben Tower. A plane reservation. Good afternoon. London Airlines. How can I help you? I'd like to reconfirm my plane reservation. What flight are you taking? Flight 100. A new name, please. Maria Smith. Yes. You're booked on flight 100. Please check in at the airport an hour before departure time. Thank you. Done. Hope you have a nice meeting. Thank you. I'll take you. Maria. Oh, Eric. Hi, how are you? Listen, I'm in a terrible hurry. Bank closes in 20 minutes. Is the bank near here? Yes, it's only three kilometers away, on London Street. OK, get in, I'll take you. Are you sure? It's not out of your way. No, not at all. That is so nice of you, Eric. Thank you. You're welcome. Eating out. Waitress, could we have the bill, please? Can I put it in one bill? No, separate it, please. Here are your bills. Fifty dollars. That seems expensive. Would you check it again, please? Sorry, this is your Fried's bill. Here is yours. It's twenty dollars. Cashier. What kind of work do you do? I'm a receptionist at a hotel. 
Do you like your job? No, it's not very interesting and I can't make much money. That's right. It pays very little. I think I should look for another job. You should, but it's not easy to find one. If keep looking, I'm get one. Yeah, you're right. A hot day. It is too hot to death. Yes, it must be 43 degrees. I would like a bottle of Coca-Cola. I'll get you one. Thanks. MMM. This tastes good. It does. Geez, this hot weather makes me lazy. Me too. Get me another drink. I guess if you're lazy, no one else is allowed to be. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks for understanding. A new shirt. Who is it? It's me. Don't you have your key? No, let me in. What's in that box? What did you get? A new shirt. But you have a closet full of shirts. I know, but I need a new one. What's wrong with all the other shirts? There's not this one. On sale. Hello. Look, I just bought this new coat. How do you feel about it? Oh, it looks terrific. Nice, when you like it. How much was it? Seventy dollars. Oh. That's a good price. Yeah, it was on sale. I had take it among the crowd there. Terrible. But it was worth it. Where did you get it? In May on London Street. I like to shop there, too. They always have really nice sales. Maybe you should go there today. They have a big sale on shirts if you're interested. Let's make them out of stock. Now, go with me. Of course. Doctor's appointment. When can I see Drive? Smith. She won't be free until tomorrow. Can I make an appointment? Sure. How about tomorrow at 8 o'clock? Can you make it at 9? I'll check to see she's available. I'm sorry, but she's tied up at nine o'clock. Well, can't you squeeze me in, somehow? I'm afraid not. How about after lunch? That's perfect. I'll come at 1.30 p.m., thank you. To buy a bus ticket. Excuse me. Yes, can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about buses way to London, and when was Sunday morning or afternoon? The afternoon was about 4 o'clock. There's one at 4.30. Thank you. That sounds perfect. I'll take it. What is wrong? Can you help me, officer? I'll try. What's wrong? I can't get into my car. Where are your keys? They're in the car. Don't worry. I can open it. How can you do that? With a coat hanger. It's easy. Where can we get a coat hanger? There's one in the police car. Wait here. Thanks a lot. You're very kind. What did you do yesterday? Can I check in here for air from Brazil to Canada? Have you already had your ticket? Yes. Here you are. Thank you. Can you put your luggage up here, please? Sure. 
I have three suitcases. We allow only two pieces. You'll have to pay an extra charge. Oh, can I carry this one with me? No, I'm sorry. It won't fit under your seat. That's fifty dollars. Here you are. Thank you. You can choose your seat, a window seat or aisle seat. I'd like a window seat, please. Fine. Seat 20A. Here's your ticket and your boarding pass. Enjoy your flight. We eat a lot. Did you see my car keys? They're on top of the cupboards. You're right. Thanks. Where are you going? To the market. Again? Yes, we eat a lot. Do you want me to go with you? Sure, if you can. Good. We need to buy a load of goods. There is a new healthy food store right up the road. You should try and eat more healthy. Maybe you're right. We all put on a little weight. The phone. Good morning, Michael Law Office. May I help you? Yes, may I speak to Mr. Michael, please? I'm sorry, he isn't here yet. May I take a message? Yes, could you ask him to call Maria Ponta? How do you spell your last name? P O N D A. What's your phone number? Mr. Michael should have it. Well, he doesn't. It's 56,847,910. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? 56,847,910. I'll give him the message. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm busy on Sunday. Would you like to go to a ballad concert? Well, I'd like to. But when is it? On Sunday evening. What a pity. I'm busy on Sunday. Maybe you could change your plans. It's going to be a really great concert. Maybe I will. I wouldn't want to miss it. Great. I'll see you Sunday. At the customs. Well, hello, Mr. Daniel. You seem unusually happy today. I just became a father. Congratulations. A boy or a girl? You never saw such a cute girl. Eight pounds, four ounces, and as cute as a button. How's your wife? She's just fine. Traffic rules. Mary, you can't park here. It's a bus stop. Oh, we'll be back in a few minutes. It's okay. Oh, no, it isn't. You'll get a parking ticket if you leave it here. You know, I won't. It's half past seven. All the traffic guards have gone home. Mary. Yes. Is this your car? Getting a visa. How long does it take to get a visa? It depends on the season. Anywhere from three to six weeks. What do I need to do? Fill out an application form and wait. Will there be a long waiting period? Not if you don't run into any government delays. Taking a cab. Hello. Hi. Where do you want to go? 80 Maple Street, please. 80 Middle Street. No, Maple Street. Maple Street. Let's see. Is that near Street? Middle Street. I don't know. I've been here only one week. Oh, where are you from? Melbourne. 
I hate to get up in the morning. Me too. What time do you get up? At five o'clock. Why do you get up so early? I have to go to work by six o'clock. I don't get up until seven thirty. You're lucky. What do you do? I own a small shop. What time does your shop open? At eight o'clock. What's a grant? My daughter is going to university. That's great, but it must cost you a lot of money. Yes, but she has a grant. A grant? What's a grant? The government is giving her money to pay for her education. That's right. Does it pay for everything? No, she has a loan too. What's the difference between a loan and a grant? You have to pay back a loan. A grant is a present. Can I drive you there? What time is it? It's four o'clock. Oh no, I'm late. Where are you going? To the doctor's. Can I drive you there? Sure, that will help. What's the matter with you? I have a pain in my knees. I'm sorry to hear that. I've had it for weeks, and this is the first time that I could get in. My doctor is always so busy. I guess that's a good thing. It means a lot of people believe in him. Will you get some bread for me? Is there a souvenir store near here? Yes, you can get there in five minutes. That's good. I don't have much time. Why are you going to the souvenir store? To buy a birthday present. Whose birthday is it? My niece's. She's five. That's nice. Will you get some color paper for me? Sure. Do you want anything else? No thanks. I'll pay you when get back. An interesting movie. I thought that movie was terrific, wasn't it? I don't know. It didn't seem to have any meaning. Come on. It seems that you expect intellectual stimulation from every movie. I just think that a good movie should have a central theme at least. Yes, but it doesn't hurt you to watch a comedy once in a while. Relax and enjoy it. You're right. I'm too serious sometimes. At home. Ah, Chu. God bless you. Thank you. Do you have a cold? Yes, that's why I'm sneezing so much. I hope you feel better soon. I get a bad cold every winter. Are you taking anything for your cold? I'm taking aspirins. Does it work? Yes, but it makes me sleepy. You'd better not drive then. A car loan. I'll drive you there. Thanks. I'm going to apply for a loan. Why do you need a loan? I have to buy a new car. What's wrong with your car? It is getting worse, and it's ten years old. How much will a new car cost? About twenty thousand dollars. Wow, that's so expensive. I know. That's why I need a loan. Car lover. Where's David? He's behind the house. 
What is he doing? Washing his car. Not again. Yes, he takes good care of his car. But he never cleans his room. I know. It's always dirty. And nothing is in order. You're right. His room is a mess. Maybe you should move into the car. Operating room. Ms. Rosie, I'm Dr. Smith. Oh, doctor, how is he? Well, I'm afraid we'll have to operate. Oh, no, he's always been afraid of operations. Don't worry, if we operate now, he'll be all right. Oh, doctor, do you really have to? He's lost a lot of blood. If we do single quote anti operate, he'll die. Oh, please do whatever you have to. At the restaurant. This is a big menu. Yeah, what are you getting? Chicken, salad, and baked potatoes. I don't know what to get. They have very good turkey. I had turkey yesterday. How about steak? Perfect. I'll get steak and mashed potatoes. What vegetable are you getting? I'm not getting any. I don't like vegetables. A cup of coffee. Would you like some drink? A cup of coffee, please. With milk and sugar? A little milk, but no sugar. I never drink coffee at night. Why not? It keeps me awake. And it's not good for our health. What do you drink with supper? Tea. It helps me relax. It's also beneficial for our skin, can protect us from headache, especially cancer. I don't like tea. There are so many kinds of tea. Maybe we should shop around and try to find one you like because coffee is bad for you. That's a good idea. Do you want to go with me? Of course. Let's go. Cold and windy. It's cold out. Yes, it's cold and windy. I'm going to wear my heavy coat. Good idea. Where are you going? To the supermarket. For what? I have to buy some light papers, pencils, crayons, to finish my project about ideal technology to slow the pollution problem in the world. Wow! Cool! Could you buy some bread for me? Sure. How much would you like? Just one loaf of bread. Here's the money for the bread. Okay. I'll back in 30 minutes unless I get blown away. Be careful, baby. Yes, thanks. Afraid of flying? Where is your meeting? In Carnaby, London. How are you going? By a... Do you like to fly? Sure. It's fast and comfortable. I'm afraid flying. Really? Flying is very safe. Maybe, but I don't feel safe in a plane. I understand. A lot of people feel that way. Ah, wait me some minutes to call the Aline company. A soccer game. Oh. I'm going to play soccer, now. Who are you playing with? Some friends from work. Are you a good soccer player? Yes, but I'm not the best player on the team. Don't worry. You're the best in my heart. What time does the game begin? 
Nine o'clock. Why don't you come with me? Sorry, but today is my busiest day in my week. I can't go with you now. I apologize. Okay. Tomorrow, we'll prepare for your vacation. So, see you later. Okay, I hope your team wins. Fighting. Thank you.